play the traditional way sometime. Okay, so we're jumping into game number four, the Viper against Fire. Fire is guaranteed to play in the finals, and now we go into Island's map, Saracen's War. It's with Neely and Bullet. Yep. Are you just clapping for yourself? Bullet! Yeah. <laughs> Bullet That's me. That's me. Hi, guys. I'm hyped, man. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. I want to see some uh, landings going on this game. <laughs> okay, then let's take a look at the islands. Looks pretty reasonable to me when it comes to gold positioning and wood for the Viper. Nice deer as well. And great fish if he goes south. On the other side, we have fire. Most likely going for a dock over here. We'll have some deep fish, could expand more to the south and has not the biggest forest but very protected and nice gold spots as well. This looks like a pretty fair map to me. Yeah, it's, look, uh, it's looking pretty good for both of them. Um, no issues with the maps as far as I can tell. Previous one, Fire had, uh, I mean Viper had his TC very close to the shore so that's another reason for Ari in his position, but now he has a good TC placement. And he also has starting ships, which is a good start, of course. Do you think Viper restarts because his TC is close to the shore? Nah, I don't think Viper would do that. Uh, but uh, that was uh, like a general thing that I n noticed like the last game. Uh, he read because of the sheep, but his TC was very close to the shore. Okay. Okay, then let's stop all the references and see that Fire actually managed to get the board to the TC with the scout. And let's see, where are his deer? They're over here. Could be lowerable. Let's see what Viper is doing. He has still his full HP scout. And let's see, is he not getting his boars? Oh, no, no, he did scout them. That's pretty late by him. What hey, does that to be... indicate? I think he's gonna take him with the scout. Going with the scout. Okay, yeah. okay. It's, it was still pretty late though. Um, usually go for the boar after having four on wood, but he put five on wood, then taking the boar. Uh, yeah, I'm surprised as well. Went for five sheep now instead of four. And Viper is building his first dock, and it is a good one. And Fire is building a dock as well. And it's a good one as well, at least when it comes to expected fish. And actually, it is reasonable fish for him as well. So the Viper is going for more of the aggressive approach, if you ask me. He could have docked closer to the deers over here, which would have been like yeah. more of the guaranteed. Yeah, that like would be an absolute route. guarantee for uh, good fish as well. But uh, you know, Viper's uh, micro on uh, with the Gallus is on its own level, so I think he wanna have some fun this game and be very aggressive with this, uh, like a fast field village and uh, push early on on fire. Okay, then let's just clear that up since we're still in Dark Age. Someone in the chat said. Fire and Tattoo will have the same points when Fire draws this 2-2. Yes, that's true, but since they play 2-2, the direct comparison doesn't really count. But who played better against the highest opponent, which then is Viper, and that means Fire played 2-2 and Tattoo lost 1-3, and therefore Fire would advance when it ends 2-2 here. And Tito and Fire actually drawn points, but Fire would still advance to the finals to, I think, have a guaranteed like $80 for playing the finals and $150 for first or something like around that. Advancing to the feudal age now is Fire. And that's a pretty solid time. 9.48 and 10 that minutes um... for Viper. They didn't want to play around, as it seems. Yeah, they. It, this is going to be a very serious game. They are good up times, and um, Fire does truly really have a four dock, but still did a very good up time, a fast up time. So, um, gonna see some uh, galley action here. 
Piper adding a fourth fishing ship. Uh, Piper already has four. It's incredible how consistent fire is with his water starts. Starts. They're always yeah. super good. They are, yeah, always so sharp. And I, I haven't seen him fail any water starts in the last like fifteen competitive matches here. And they're so. Yeah, you strong. just yeah. seem to be like very secure with this uh, gameplay, especially on islands. But overall, as a player as well. But his, yeah, as you say, his uh, water play is great. Really doing all the right things in Dark Age. Yeah, this is the best villager now, and I think those two could have worked at a lumber camp as well. Three dogs up now. Ooh. Look at the so viper. Fast. Look at the viper. Dum dum. Dum 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 dum. Dum 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 transporter. And that's oh. a transporter with still three dogs and no loom. Ooh, this. And that's this is what I wanted to see. <laughs> the landing with scout only. It's a landing with the scout only. Why is he doing that? That's a very ah. old school strategy. In the old days when you landed with a scout and you just try to quickly show your scout and... Make them overreact. Exactly that. Oh god. Oh, that's, um... Let's see if it makes it work. Okay. So right now he's heading... I don't know where he's heading. Yeah, to the top. Let's see how this works. At the moment we have three against four militaries, so fire is the one taking the Is he the seriously aggression. running into the galleys? Oh, no, not oh. now. Let's go into the point of your fire. How he sees this. We have unit spies on. Uh, Viper wants to land on the small island. No, he doesn't. We are in the point of view of... Uh, that doesn't make sense. What? what here? <laughs> and fire sees that. <laughs> 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 and Viper, okay, I only wanted to scout the stone island for later, yeah. for later, and Preparing. now I'm aware of the situation, oh god, and let's see, Fire now is scared indeed, let's see, did I see react in any other way, no, only, maybe Fire didn't see it, on the other side, let's see, where are the galleys of Fire, not really sure. They're out Scout in the blue. Scout is running around. And the Viper, maybe he's just... Is it just, just scouting? It's so weird. It's not missing anything. It's still zero against zero kill death. <laughs> Hitting the villager <laughs> once. Now Galley Micro. Still both players without fletching. Tom Watch being researched by Fire. Nice kill here for the Viper. First blood. And getting more damage done. And let's see, that was a pike patrol here, and getting more, oh god, the HP is just so brutal here, if you compare this. Look at this, one galley down, two basically heavily in the red, and Viper has fletching as well. Military is 11 against 10, and now the defense barracks for fire, he is <laughs> indeed scared. Oh. This is so brilliant. Why is... Fire, uh, fire still chilling at home. What is he doing now? That could have been a shot for. F Opa! That was a miss. Stop patrol. Uh, or not stop patrol, but stop movement. And that's the second kill here. So 2 1. Where is the scout of Viper? Not sure. I think he lost it actually. I can't find it either. Oh no, it's at the top. Uh, why can't oh, there I it is. oh yeah. we're at the point of your fire. Let me do... Okay, I gave it a new number. Okay, kill set still 2 to 1 now. Oh, very good. Oh, Viper is kind of going for it. 13 military to 10 here. And Fire has to be so confused about everything. Now going for a defensive archery range. And at home, Viper went for Loom. What, what yeah, is this, happening um... here? This is looking very good for Viper overall.
fourth Fire's dock. doing exactly what Viper wanted to. He's uh, like overreacting, making our chi range. Maybe he could send some of its own, make own transport ship and send some archers over. But overall, Viper is playing this very solid. 600 food, 150 gold. On the other side, we have 400 food, 200 gold. So, Casa H time will be pretty oh, reasonable. But two snipes for none. Getting more damage done. Fire trying to go out of reach. But Fire's deep fish already ended. And one fishing ship down, two fishing ships down, three fishing ships down. And that's basically the moment where Viper needs to go home. Just go home, camp it out. You know you have the better ego now. And he's staying at the front trying to do Viper, some damage yes, against yes. the dogs. Castle H timing super close indeed, 4 seconds, but the better ego for... How did that happen that we don't have fish again? Um, the better ego still for the Viper. One villager behind, but four fishing ship ahead. And a sneaky dog at the side for fire. I think that will be landing. Yeah, that's... Um I think that he feels that he's Scott's somehow dead. behind, and Viper is playing um, very well with his micro, so he, he kind of has to go for the sneaky archers here, which will be exposed very soon. He just needs to send those archers right now to the shoreline. Yeah, I think he wants to go... Oh, the scout has only 3 HP. Oh, that's weird because the scout, uh, the scout of Viper only had 10 HP when he landed on the island. Ah, he already... No, Fire didn't lure Bors, did he? He did. Yeah, he did. He did. He did. Okay, all good. Yeah. Now, four archers. Should he wait for Botkin Arrow and Expo? Or should he just go for it? On the other side, we have now the Fire sniping those fishing ship. And again, to my question, wait for Expos or just go now? The hard decision. Um, it seems for me like he's gonna wait for the Expo, at least. I think... Hitting someone's economy or enemy's economy as fast as possible is usually a very, very good thing, of course, because you, then you get ahead in economy, but and the other guy idles and loses villagers. But same time, always oh, Viper is doing a monastery at, at his home. He's planning to, yeah. If fire really hits him with crossbows and does some, does get some really good kills here, this is gonna be important. And he Get some kills. Crossbows. Some oh. some kills for sure. One will down, two will down, three will down most likely. Yep. Okay, let's see how the reaction continues. Pulling off the villagers at the same time. We have war gaddies for Viper. Not really sure where the army of fire is. He has bot can arrow, but not war gaddies. Expo still doing something. Could do a lot of damage against the villagers over here. Let's see where he's running around. Another GC of Viper coming up. I think he was expecting this. Let's see. The Wargaris can actually do some damage. Still trying to chase. Only two fishing ship here for the Viper. Fire ahead by six villagers. And he is adding one extra GC as well. How is the situation at the moment? It's very interesting. It's, um, I think. Viper is making 3rd TC, but it's not a very good TC in terms of making farms and so on. Uh, and Viper has uh, absolute control of the water, so if Fire loses his crossbows, he's, I don't think he's in the best position. Uh, and when he was landing with the crossbows, if he went directly, of course he wouldn't know, because he doesn't see the whole map as we do. If he went with the crossbows for where Viper was making his TC in the monastery and stopped that, then he would probably win the game. Because he would uh, delay Viper so much, wouldn't get in case up uh, like the second TC and the monastery. But as it looks now, I think uh, Viper is in a better position. And it felt so much like Viper was expecting an attack on land because obviously he saw yeah. the barracks, he knew, okay, this guy wasn't going for full water, and he instantly, just shortly before he reached Castle Age, bought 100 stone and instantly put down the GC after clicking um, the, the War Galley upgrade. And he still doesn't have Botkin Arrow, by the way. Yeah, that's true. Oh, Fire is actually... 
Well, they have pretty much. They are neck on neck when it comes to villagers and military right now. So Indeed. this is uh, this is still an uh, interesting game. It's hard to tell who's gonna win still. Viper is uh, heading kills, I believe, but no, it's all comes down to the. Finally, it's Let's twelve, see. twelve, and it's still Botkin against No Botkin. University for Viper now, so soon it will be Ballistics against No Ballistics. Unless we see Fire going for something as well, but now he's going for the University as well. Okay, Viper get the Ballistic first and take a good fight against Fire. Um, Fire just cannot take a fight at the moment. He vacuum for Galaxy. He has some fires. And two fire ships do spread out uh, war galleys at the bottom of the map. But if Viper takes a good fight now on water, I think it's hard for fire. Monks now He's too. ahead in villagers. He's ahead in villagers fire. Um, so he got that going for him. Beautiful convert here for Viper. Uh, villagers fire ahead by six indeed. Viper has three to see is now going for wheelbarrow. On the other side we have fire going for two to see is only but I think without wheelbarrow. Good thing for the Viper is having six fish and ship, but not all of them working. He actually has eight and six of them working. Exactly that's how the overlay works. Wheelbarrow now kind of for fire. This is a pretty close game although it went pretty yeah unstandard yeah, with an opening yeah i'm kind of surprised as well it's very close um was looking very good for uh, viper for a while but uh, it seems like fire kind of caught up he's hiding villagers and the longer time you're ahead in villagers you will just fly away in economy as well so if he just keeps like a five to ten villager lead he's definitely gonna be Good advantage. Oh, that fight. Uh, trying to micro, but both with ballistics. Uh, fire ships now coming in as well. Fire. Great. Fire, fire had to fight there. No chance of running back from those armies kind of surrounding him against ballistics. And suddenly it's seven kills ahead, four fire, and two converts for Viper in the scoreboard. And Viper is deciding okay. Seems like Castle Age water is important. Let's add some docks. Now adding the ballistics. And having what can fire adding docks too? Viper is kind of catching up in villager count now because uh, Fire was on two TCs until now, making the third. Viper was on three TCs for about 10 minutes. More Expos coming in though, so that might change a bit. Yeah, I, I like that. That's so smart. Um, if he micros that well, he's totally gonna get even I think Viper. He should send actually. his scout as well. Because he will always fight against yeah, monks, yeah. and Saracens yeah, just carry more in their transporters, so that would absolutely yeah. be an option for him. He should definitely do that. There's no reason to keep the scout uh, on his island right now, except from, of course, scouting. Yeah, I'm pretty combined. sure he just forgot about the carry um, possibilities here, that they can carry 15 even. Oh, oh and somebody just will die here. Viper, no chance, just two volleys killing those. Oh wow, those Expos are pretty much already worth the cost of idling time, making Viper panicking, deleting mining camp, killing villagers. Good move. Uh, yeah, super sweet, super sweet indeed. Let's see, 3 TC is forcing so. him to make a siege shop here now, if he doesn't waste the crossbows to a TC or something. It's kind of forcing him to... Siege shop. Yeah, Viper made a siege shop. So, um, Viper, uh, I think uh, Fire is playing this very good. And the Expos obviously have ballistics as well, so that's good for them. Doing their sniping. Let's see, maybe we can see a big water engagement. Viper should be ahead when it comes to overall numbers. At the moment, he has even 17 idle villagers because the Expos Fire's are so annoying. Him. Fire is gonna click him? Are you kidding me? Oh, but indeed, resources are looking so good for him. 
That explosion now. His control on water is insanely good. Wow. His what now control? His eco control. Uh, his eco control when he's playing water maps. Uh, it's so good. And Viper is completely off of gold at the moment. Yeah. Um, if Fire is playing this correctly now, he should he shouldn't take a fight until he comes Imperial Age and then force fights every fight he can get to. Wow. I'm getting Nothing. excited for this finals of the tournament. Yeah, the Fire is playing like a madman. Is Fire actually winning the series here? Yeah, right now, if he. Oh, disengagement. It's even with plus one defense for Fire. I think he can take it. It's close to the houses. And yeah, he, yeah, Viper needs to retreat. He's going in with some, but he will lose more. I think that's not an engagement. Viper can really take. Trying to micro a bit around. One, didn't want to take a fight close to the houses and docks. But it's still plus one defense against not. And Viper's numbers are better. Remember, there's some expos even on the land. So it's more likely like 25 to 38 on land. Fire needs to wait for Imperial Age upgrade. Yeah, he does. And uh, Fire is now also adding a couple of more Expos to Viper's Island. If he does more damage with those, he looking good. Gold is he still making exposed. three more now? <laughs> he sent two new rounds of Expos to uh, uh, He doesn't know him. that he can actually carry 15. Now he has a defense upgrade, so he should know that he can t carry 10. But yeah. Right. So, I think fire really... Now, how is Viper gonna react to this? Galleon. Still shooting at the docks. Coming up. Fire needs to add more docks. Is he doing that? Maybe he can't afford it at the moment. Not yet. Let's see. Magona could do some damage against... Yeah. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, this plot <laughs> is split. It's oh, lots of HP. Villagers being sent there. Split. Nice, Splitty. Now he needs to focus the villagers, I believe, because the Mangonel will never die. Yeah, I think he should have done that from the beginning. Bracer's now coming up. Oh. B7. Oh, got him. What a sick shot. Uh, going into the Mangonel. Bracer's now finished. Trying to increase the damage, still so many this villagers must actually repairing. So annoying. So annoying for fire not taking that mangonel out. Oh, but he's now finally. Still... No? Seriously, he tried for two minutes now. That's cost him so much micro time. Uh, but still it's micro time for Viper as well and idle time yeah. of all those villagers and repairing the mangonel at all times. Chemistry now coming up as well, so another damage against the mangonel and galleons Fire against galleons. Fire should definitely f oh, okay, too late. No, not anymore. But yeah, he has defense upgrade against no defense upgrade of <laughs> Viper so far. Let's take a look. Villager count. Pretty even a bit better for fire. But, yeah, just having a constant eco is a big ad advantage. And let's see the Mangonel lost the ring arousal, ring arousal, how, not really sure how it's called, the run around. <laughs> yeah. And some villagers might die here, but nice reaction time. Let's see one villager, still not a vi villager died after this move. Another great ground attack, how, how is he always oh. doing that? And now he's clearing it up. Yep, only two uh, expos left, and I think... Now it's back to look onto water and let's count some dogs. We have three, four, five, six at the moment for the Viper. And we can see three, five, seven, eight at the moment for fire. Military count a bit better for the Viper. Now the engagement, it's chemistry against no chemistry. Better reinforcement lines here for fire. He's going now for the wood upgrade. Chemistry is coming in for fire and still uh, for the viper and still no defense upgrade. I think that's a bit of a better fight for fire. Although maybe viper's number still might be better. He's having some ship behind here. I think that's a better engagement for fire. Very hard to tell because viper has all the ships like very packed together. It's so hard to see. Uh, that's a very interesting fight, but as you said, he is close to his docks and the reinforcements, so yeah. Overall, yeah, Fire is winning the fight. No. 
Um, what I noticed is that ah now fire started again. He didn't produce villagers for a while. Meanwhile, Viper was adding villagers during those fights. So Viper, even though getting raided by Expos, is uh, adding villagers again. Okay, let's see. See more guidance being produced obviously by both players now. Water control is so important. Let's take a look. A thing that you absolutely need to take a look at how much protected wood you still have. Because this wood isn't great for fire. This wood isn't great. This wood isn't great. So at the moment, with the water control he has, which is pretty low, wood will not be endless. And there's so much wood for Viper still to gain when he's controlling all this area. And yeah, maybe that's a long-term plan for Viper here? Yeah, it definitely looks like he can take wood safely on his island for Microphone a long time. Muted. So if Fire doesn't win water in a couple of minutes, I think, um, as you said, he might get dried out on uh, wood. Because if he loses, and also if he loses water, it's definitely gonna have a hard time coming back. Because uh, Viper is gonna be able to hit him with his galleons from uh, from water to to his wood villagers. So Viper really needs to bring Microphone Viper activated. down now. Viper now claiming the middle gold island for himself. Means more gold for him, more possibilities of build, uh, to build docks and the beautiful castle helping him now so much when it comes to zoning on all the maps and taking better fights, dictating where to fight and where not to fight. And yeah, at the moment I'm still missing the defense upgrade for Viper here. Yeah, it kind of feels like now I finally, about it. finally it's coming. There it comes. Some great docks at the uh, Gold Island of Viper. Ooh, but cannon galleons come in for fire, so he wants to get the Viper off of this island. If he does, he still have a good chance in the game. If he don't, in the like closest couple of minutes, I think it's gonna be hard for fire. But he's playing it very correctly right now, having a solid 20 more. Boats out now on big oh. engagement, Fire has the numbers, Viper needs to retreat, but retreating in Imperial Age against Ballistics after both patrol oh. is always so costly and nice how Fire got out of this patrol and instantly after stopped and moved into the right direction after um, yeah, the first patrol, so nice movement of his ships there and nice control to even get one, two more snacks there, beautiful move. Yeah, 25, 22 now uh, ahead in uh, military for fire. The very smart move to make those uh, lead shops along the coastline as well. Uh, I think fi what fire needs now is to be very aggressive on Viper, and uh, it seems like he's he's trying to make uh, those cannon galleons and uh, rams along the shoreline. So he's doing everything so good right now. It's only normal Kalin Ganyan, so no uh, yeah. elite Kalin Ganyans. Military count 67 to 84, villager count 97 to 96. Fish is an important kill to death, a bit better for fire, exactly because of engagement like those, where fire uh, the Viper is running and can't really do much. And fire is just continuing to produce in. Now an aggressive castle of fire coming in. He wants to control area as well. He's getting a bit into the castle, with, but without any HP upgrades. Let's see how many cannon galleons are actually out there. That's not a good engagement for the Viper oh. fighting against the Ram at the same time. And let's count. Cannon gun count is now at five. Fire is going for it. He is going for it, he's All taking in. the fight into the left side and has enough rams there, not seen rams just yet. At the same time he's taking the 
fight at the front. Viper wants to take this now. Has Carinary in defense. Fire still ahead by 20 military, but helping out the castle all the time. Three villagers only repairing. I think it could be a bit more. And fire is pushing this issue. Now we're ahead by 16 military. Now the cannon guns could snipe those dogs or maybe shoot in the all the flanks there. This fight on the left hand side was one. Fire is pushing at the right hand side. Might this be the finishing blow here, bullet? Yeah, this is uh, fire is play so good right now. I love the aggressive play. 13 range cannon guns going in, and they are doing extra damage from behind. More guns coming up, even siege ramps being upgraded, so wouldn't be surprised to see landing here. Let's see, does he still have his transporter? Not really sure. And more pushes coming in, those villagers will absolutely die. Military count at the moment at 44 against 20 only, and those dogs will die. Or maybe even those at the front here. I think fire uh, Viper shouldn't take those fights, he should absolutely retreat, and then, yeah. Just try to regroup, but those are fights he can absolutely not win. What is he doing? Is he trying to get as much gold out of it, but wasting gold at the same time? I'm not really sure, and Viper doesn't know either, and taps out. Fire is taking this series 3 to 1. Wow. Oh. Great play by Fire. Nothing else to say. He really showed and proved himself here. Wow, I did not see that coming. Overall score 3-1. They will face each other in the finals, probably played during the week, next week. So after the big HD tournament, Rise of Rias, and hmm? Christmas. Yeah, Finish, it's going to be fun. It's, it's going to be very fun to see. Yes. Uh... Those the final. Two play. I look forward to it. Oh god, okay. That will be interesting. And Fire playing so strong in this last game. Going for mass dogs, just zoning out, running so much, then Viper not having the plus two early enough because he went for the boom. Then taking good fights all along, doing the great ratings. Viper maybe too late going for a mangonel there, but had nice and early to seize, but fire just so aware, and yeah, it was really a pleasure to see him play here. Yeah, yeah, I, I love those games. It was a great series, and it, it it came as a surprise to me as well that fire won this. I uh, expected, I thought it could take two games, but uh, I didn't expect him to win the whole thing here the whole round neither did